update, the 6th of February 2016 PC version 1, 1 9, 2 8, 1 0, 1 0, Mac version 1, 1 9, 2 8, 1 2 1 0. Hello Simmers, I hope you have had a wonderful, note for the user of this form. Fill in this blank with locale specific recent holiday or family specific event of eventfulness, significance, and or noteworthiness. We've got some changes happening, and so without any caveating, let's jump into what's new. Major creator sim changes. New options are now available when creating or modifying your sims. These options provide expanded opportunities to customize your sim's style and story. These options are entirely in your control and the game itself will not modify how sims appear in your world. Instead this is about adding more tools in your toolbox, and letting you pick the tools that make sense to you while ignoring what doesn't. So, what are the new tools and options available to you in Create a Sim? Customize Gender Options There is a new button called Customize Gender found beneath the Gender Selection buttons. This opens up a panel of options that allow you to customize details about the currently displayed sim. These options are specific to the current sim being edited, and modify the physique of the sim. Does the sim have a masculine or feminine frame, toilet behavior, and whether or not they can become pregnant? Children do not have access to the customize options. Teens do, but while they can set their pregnancy preferences, they will have to wait until they become young adults for the choice to be active. Voice settings. Sims now have access to all six of the sim voices to expand the range of available audio options. Clothing filters. All create a sim assets. Tops. Bottoms. Accessories. Hairs. Shoes. All. Are now available to either gender. Through the use of the filters found under the fashion choice option. You can choose to show hide based on masculine and feminine tags. If you are unfamiliar with the catalog filters, they are found just above the asset catalog, such as tops or bottoms. By clicking on the triangle icon, its tooltip will say open filter panel. As a result, you now have access to a hugely expanded catalog. As an example, by selecting both filters under tops, you will nearly double the number of available tops to choose from. If you were to add it all up, across all of the asset categories, you are coming close to somewhere over 700 assets being added for availability. We came close to 100% coverage of all assets, but some were proving difficult for various reasons. We chose to lean towards the give access to more over the make everything perfect side however. Let us know about any issues you run against. What about sims I've already made? I mentioned above that these options are available for modifying sims as well as creating. So, specifically, when editing sims via edit household from the map, or when clicking on a dresser and choosing the new option change sim you will have access to many editing options that were previously not available for played sims, such as modifying gender, body and face shapes, and the customized gender options. We also made the addition and removal of tattoos available in all creator sim re-entry modes, including plan outfit. There is a great deal to explore with these expanded creator sim options. I look forward to hearing all about. Oh, I guess there is a bit more here to talk about. Lighting changes. For players that play with their lighting settings set to very high, options menu under graphics tab, you will see an improvement to the way sun and moonlight project into rooms through windows and as well we have a couple issues that we have addressed general issues you can slot a pair connect attach yes attach you can now attach a table to a chair whereas before you had to attach the chair to the table the green boundary visuals will also update to include both object footprints now air footprint um bills Previously being an unknown envelope in your sim's inventory, will now tell you they are a bill when you hover over them. Tidy up away actions will now also tidy up puddles. And now, some tongue twisters for no reason. The puddles play. Kept tidy the tidal pool. A tidy up while away. Keeps the puddles at bay. Poodles play playfully in the puddles people lay. 
Poodles was only typed here because of its alliteration in regards to puddles. In no way is this a foreshadowing, hinting, or similar. It is only used because of the alliteration. Alligator. Non-family members may now also get the whisked away buff when a child or baby is taken away for neglect, depending on their relationship, and the distance to the action. The whisked away buff will now properly tell you the origin of the buff. The origin of the buff will not sound like your mother-in-law. So, let your kid get taken away, huh? Forgot to feed him? Do you even remember his name? Don't talk to me about making room in your home. What kind of household is this? The hug whim is no longer a flirty whim, but a happy whim. Sims now have to wait for the birthday blower to blow out their candles before taking a slice of Sim City cheesecake. Reminds me of that time when I grabbed my dinner before the moms on Mother's Day. Yay. That was a mistake. I prefer to fast now. Death flowers are now considered part of the harvest all action. No longer shall they be ostracized for their death-like demeanor. The default name for the Book of Life is no longer this is C. Fee Book 1. Rather it is now the Book of Life. Foody Sims will no longer receive the disappointing drink buff after drinking reward store board potions 1 steamy review read after having drank 100 potion of youth beverages. I cannot in good conscience recommend this so called drink for consumption. One and a half stars. We fixed an issue that could result in light being shown on incorrect floors. If lights are placed on a lower level, it was possible for their light to transfer to upper levels through doors with glass. We fixed an issue where the game is telling your pregnant sims to do push-ups, via the whims, and then yelling at you for trying to do push-ups with a pregnant sim. Although thinking about how such a dialogue might occur, drop and gimme 20 why did you just try to do 20 push-ups? Don't you know you're pregnant now drop and gimme 20 sims will no longer get the comfy or uncomfy buff from sitting at a pool edge. It's not too hard, not too soft, it's just right. Now eat your porridge. Sims with the hates children trait now get a happy buff when they fail a pregnancy test. Or is that succeed a pregnancy test? I mean if they don't like children and they are shown to not be pregnant. That is a success, right? Fixed an issue that would cause light to bleed through a block's ceiling. You should see less light bleed at the top of interior blocks. If light could bleed, would it be dark? We fixed an issue that could prevent Sims from being able to continue the soothing jets upgrade on a Princess Cordelia's bathtub. Sims will no longer reset if they attempt to summon a grilled cheese sandwich while holding something in both of their hands. Do not reset on an empty stomach. Resetting is not for everyone. If you or a loved one have blurred vision after a recent reset, cue an interaction immediately. Paintings on an easel will no longer be removed to the household inventory when the lot is rotated or the room in which the painting is contained is moved or rotated. Sims can now purchase items from the lice cold freezer when visiting an NPC's retail lot. Get to work. The resize object cheat will now properly resize photographs. But, grandmother, what big eyes you have. Get together. Sims will now only get the whim to light a bonfire. When there is a bonfire present. The sun setting park bench. Floral addition will now count towards the bench requirement for building park venues. Outdoor retreat. It seems as though the hermit had a hermit outfit that he was supposed to wear when hermiting. Now, the hermit will properly wear his hermit outfit. Though... I'm not sure why a hermit cares what the bears see him wear, wherever he may fare, even when he relaxes in his chair, eating a pear, glaring at the hares, who are unaware of his despair, as he sits alone in his solly. Toot. Sims will no longer have a chance to reset when cancelling roast marshmallows at a campfire while socializing. Sims seated at a campfire will no longer stand up to listen to a group story being told to them. Yes. It may be an intense story, but sit, relax. Maybe I'm just going to tell you about a river rafting trip, and I won't mention anything about the guy with a hook for a hand. Spa day. Pregnant sims can't take a mud bath. They still can't take a mud bath. However, now, when you try to take a mud bath, we tell you they can't take a mud bath with a tooltip on the not available interaction. 
Meditating sims can now have self-discoveries for skills such as herbalism, baking, and photography. Socializing in a steam room will now properly satisfy the sit and talk to your date goal when on a date. Also steam room socialization can be steamy. Also, I like steamed pork buns. Not that they are the same thing at all. But all this talk about steam really got me thinking about how hungry I am and I really could go for a steamed pork bun. We fixed an issue where the game is telling your pregnant sims to do yoga, via the whims, and then yelling at you for trying to but, you know, I'm sensing a trend here. Cool kitchen stuff. Ice cream cones and cartons will now inform you, by highlighting yellow, when they are going to be removed from the lot due to a build action, such as drawing a room on top of them. Movie hangout stuff. We fixed an issue where a sim that was on vacation and comes home early, or a sim that skips school or work, will not be available to watch a movie together until they would normally have come home. Romantic garden stuff. Sims that become a ghost by way of the wishing well will now properly root as if they were a ghost. As always, I wish you well, happy simming, and we love hearing from you, your trials, tribulations, and successes. Sim Guru Gnome.